Yes! Thirty years. Thirty years of shaping the lives of millions of people all over the world. For thirty years, a plumber, his brother, a princess who somehow keeps getting kidnapped, and a dinosaurish fire-breathing monster have been revolutionizing the way we play video games. Welcome to today's episode of The Completionist, where right now, I complete what may be one of the best Super Mario Bros. experiences of all time. And the best part is, that experience is the one that I created for myself. This is Super Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker! Super Mario Maker is one of Nintendo's breakout titles this year. We've been playing so many Mario games, from 2D platformers to 3D platformers to kart racers, sports, and role-playing games. And then there was that one time where Mario danced his way through stuff. Look, sometimes Mario has to just dance fight his way out of a situation. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have a Let's Play channel. I've had a Let's Play channel for almost three years now. It's called Super Beard Bros with my buddy Alex. And last year, we played a game called Kaizo Mario. And since then, we've played Kaizo Mario 2, and we're just finishing up Kaizo Mario 3. The Kaizo series is known for being really difficult ROM hacks of Super Mario World. <laughs> My point is, the idea of a difficult Mario game has been around for quite a while, but Super Mario Maker isn't just about letting people make a hard Mario game, it's about empowering the user to do something great. It asks the player, what do you know about Super Mario? Uh-huh, yeah, well show us. And as I say this with all smiles, I can answer that question every single time I play. Now, before we do begin today, I just want to point out that this whole episode is a massive spoiler to the entirety of the game. I'm going to be explaining a lot of the ins and outs of the game, spoiling a lot of the surprises inside. Why? Because I'm the completionist. This whole video is a gigantic spoiler. I'm going to explain everything I find. There's your warning, enough blabbering, let's begin. First time in a long time here on the show, we've got a game that doesn't really have a story as far as a plot goes in the game. But what we do have here is 30 years of Nintendo history. It wouldn't work well to go over all of that, but the legacy of Mario is huge. On The Completionist, over the course of our time here, we reviewed almost every main title in the Mario lineup. Super Mario Maker focuses specifically on four Mario titles that I've already discussed in great detail. Super Mario Bros. 1, 3, World, and New Super Mario Bros. U. Super Mario Maker does not include Super Mario 2, mostly because it wasn't really a Mario game, but rather a reskinning of the game Doki Doki Panic. In my opinion, I love Mario 2, it's a fantastic game, but it doesn't quite fit well into the Mario mythos. They do include some Mario 2 assets though in the game, so there are some definite nods here or there. The story of Mario saving the princess has been a plot that's been going on for decades, but to me, it was never really about saving the princess. It was about exploring the wonderful landscapes, fighting the hard bosses, learning more about your abilities as a player to overcome obstacles that were blatantly in your way. The journey was always the focus and the destination when it comes to Mario, and with Super Mario Maker, we're celebrating 30 years of the journey by creating our own. Super Mario Maker flows well in terms of user interface experience. Everything is straightforward, you can easily navigate your way through menus, and nothing is too overbearing with regard to nostalgia for newcomers. As you guys may or may not know, I love Mario Paint. It's one of the most underrated games out there. It inspired me to kill flies, paint within the lines, create music, and use stickers to do weird things. Hell, the first ever Homestar Runner video was made in Mario Paint. True facts. Super Mario Maker has many nods to Mario Paint. The little dog, the guys working out, to one of my favorites, the fly game. 
Sometimes while you're making a stage or even if you go idle from leaving your console on for too long, three flies appear on the screen. Now this was something that was hinted at in the trailer for the game many months ago. If you kill all three flies, the fly game from Mario Paint will start. Using the gamepad to kill flies has never been this easy, although it will be tough. Beating this game will unlock something, but we'll get to that in a bit. I can't really judge Mario Maker for its level design because, well, it's a game about level design. You become the developer of this game as you customize your dream levels, or nightmares. One of the best things I love about Mario Maker is that it honors and remembers the rules and boundaries of each Mario game. For instance, in Super Mario World, Mario has the ability to spin jump as well as throw items straight up into the air. These features are almost exclusive to every version of Mario. Mario 3 has the P-meter, Mario U has the wall jumping and the jump spin glide, and Mario 1 has slow jump descent physics. Yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. Yay. While you're building your level, you can choose the various backgrounds from each of the Mario games. You've got your regular plane variations, your underground, your water level, your ghost houses, the airships, the castles, each equipped with the music you've grown to know and love. The ability to simply transition from layout to layout is awesome. It's instantaneous. And they added new music for assets that never existed before. For instance, there's no ghost house or airship in Mario 1, so new music was made for for it. I will say that we aren't able to mash the level designs from game to game. For example, you can't make half of a level in Mario 1 and then halfway through a pipe that makes Mario U. Although that would be pretty tight. Now just because this game is a level creating game, I have to point out we haven't even scratched the surface for what truly awaits for us. The meat and potatoes of Super Mario Maker comes down to building and playing levels, most of the time. However, the big, big, big time constraint on your designer dreams for Super Mario Maker is that you've got a waiting mechanic from day to day. Now this does sound horrible, but it's actually quite useful as it gives you time to learn how to play the game and design levels as you go. So I thought to myself, hey, why not treat this kind of like a vlog? Talk about what I did and unlocked each day. Hey guys, so welcome to day one of Mario Maker. Uh, every day we unlock more content across the board of the game. And you know, there is a way to unlock all the Amiibo costumes through various Mario Maker things. However, I didn't want to wait. And since I have a very large Amiibo collection, I thought to myself, now is the perfect time to show off what all the costumes do. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief little time elapse of me unboxing all my Amiibo. And if you want, you can check out what all the outfits do in this video right here over on youtube.com slash superbeerbros. We have a Let's Play channel, Alex and I, and uh, we've been doing Kaizo Mario, which is a big deal for us. And we have a new series called Road to Mario Maker, where you guys can make levels for us to play each and every week. Head on over to youtube.com slash superbeerbros to check that out. With that said, let's unbox all the Amiibo I've been collecting for the past year. Let's do it. Ike. We first start with Ike. I feel so bad unboxing this. Can you see it? Okay, so I just unboxed all the Amiibo that I have. Uh, I know it was a very long video for some of you. And that's why I don't vlog. Let's just scrap that idea altogether. Each and every day that you play Super Mario Maker will unlock more and more content for you to use to create levels. You'll start with the basics, recreating Mario 1-1 and learning how to place enemies. Each day will require you to test out your new assets and use them for up to five minutes. For when you do, you will unlock the next queue for the next day, informing you of what's to come. And even at that, depending on the announcement, I usually get pretty super excited. 
Maybe it's certain backdrops like the castle or underground levels. Maybe it's an entirely new physics-based level like the water levels. Each big unlock was a step into me finding myself as a designer. I will admit, I was a little bummed that I didn't get access to the Super Mario World or Mario 3 assets right away. But what this does overall is create interest for you to become an expert at designing a level. And sometimes your level may have a theme. And the themes are really what make Mario Maker so interesting. Oh, they patched the waiting system. Well, I still believe in what I said. The enemies, terrain, and power-ups you unlock from day to day vary through expertise. The first few assets are pretty simple and get more complex towards the end. And yes, almost every major Mario enemy and power-up are in this game. The sky is practically the limit. Well, I guess I should show you how to actually build a level. All you gotta do is take your stylus here, pick what you want to build, and lay it down. Simple, right? Let's get a bit more creative. First, let's change our pointer here. I like the Mario hand more. Now, let's say you want to lay down some Koopas, but you only have the green ones. Well, if you shake them, they'll change color. Most power-ups, enemies, and overall assets have secondary assets attached. Don't believe me? Let's take Bowser here. Shake him up and we've got Bowser Jr. Better yet, let's make Bowser scary. Let's make two Bowsers at the end of the level with wings, a mushroom, surrounded by Lakitu's and Hammer Bros. You know, let's keep going. Let's make the level scrolling, add cannons that shoot wigglers at high speeds, big boo ghosts, a bunch of them, a thwomp with a mushroom, and a few saws for good measure. Ah. <sighs> Mario Maker. As you start to make your way through the bottom of the barrel for unlocking assets, you'll come across the newly introduced sound assets. You can add sound effects or visual effects that change something on screen. You can even add your own voice to the mix, but that only works locally, not online. And with good reason. So for you seasoned Mario players out there, get ready to have endless hours of difficult Mario fun. See, here's the thing I love about Mario Maker. All levels created, whether they be easy or hard, must be beatable. If you can't beat it, it ain't going online. So no level is impossible. However, if you come across a level you don't like after playing it time and time again, you can just Tinder it and swipe it away to the next level. What I did learn from my day one experience of vlogging is a few things. One, I really don't know how to open my own amiibo boxes. And the world will judge me for opening my own collection. Thanks, world. Two, every amiibo you own is compatible with Super Mario Maker in ways that will genuinely make you happy. And I mean, every amiibo thus far will work with the game. Ones that aren't even out yet. In fact, I knew about some of the new amiibo that were announced a few days ago because I unlocked them in the game. But what do the amiibo do? So in Mario 3, we've got the Raccoon Leaf. Mario World, we've got the Cape and Yoshi. And in New Mario Bros. U, we've got the Propeller Hat. Well, Nintendo decided to give the original Super Mario Brothers a special mushroom they called the Mystery Mushroom. This Mystery Mushroom awards the player with a costume, but there's practically a hundred costumes in the game. All of these costumes are reflective of the amiibo that you have. Now this is just so much fun to play around with as you can make themed levels based on the amiibo you own And most of the amiibo have a unique upward taunt pose sound running animation jump animation death sound and victory sound So much fun stuff. So yes, no regrets with opening my own amiibo collection personally in my case I own all of the amiibo currently commercially available, but I'm still missing about half of the costumes available in the game so eventually, I'm going to have to fork over a lot more cash for the amiibo, or find something else I can do in the game to unlock all the costumes. Hmm. There's something so riveting about creating Mario stages using palettes of your childhood as your canvas. Transitioning from playing to creating levels is seamless. The more you build, the more you'll want to play to test certain enemy patterns or secrets. But with Mario Maker, making levels is only half of the game. The online component is pretty large when it comes to Super Mario Maker. This isn't so much a component designed for multiplayer, but to simply play people's levels. The social elements of online is great. You can follow your favorite creators, play whatever the current featured level is, search for levels at random. People can even play the levels that you've created. Leaving comments on levels can encourage players with feedback or warn new players about trollish hazards that exist ahead. And when you're playing online, you'll see red access for every other player who's died in the levels. So when you die, 
You don't have to feel as bad or alone in making mistakes. The community will determine your relevancy as a creator. When people like your level, they can award you a golden star. The more golden stars you get, the higher your community ranking is. And with the higher ranking, you can upload more levels. Now this right here is actually the only thing I couldn't complete because it requires a massive support system from the community. So one day, all of you guys at home can help me do that. And then we can add this game to my list of update videos needed for the channel. Up there with Hyrule Warriors, Mother of Three, Link Between Worlds, and Splatoon. Okay, Splatoon Part 2 is coming. I heard you. They just keep adding stuff, and when they stop with the content, that's when I'll make the video. Cool? Cool. I'm sorry. Then there's the 10-man Mario Challenge. The 10-man Mario Challenge is a mode in which you must play through eight levels made by Nintendo developers with only 10 lives. So what if you mess up? Well, don't worry. These levels have enough coins or one-up mushrooms to keep you going. Every time you beat a level, the level you just beat will become a playable level in the core spot, which lets you play it at a different time. Beating all the levels in the 10-man challenge will unlock the Nintendo World Championship levels from the 2015 World Championships. These levels are so hard, but god dang are they fun. From here, we've got the 100-man Mario Challenge. Now, this may seem a bit daunting, and well, you really have no idea. There's three levels of difficulty, easy, normal, and hard, and you'll have to play between eight to 16 levels at random. What's random? The levels themselves. This mode pulls from all the levels created online by other users. This essentially becomes endless mode, kind of, because, well, so technically speaking, the review part of this video is now over. What does come next is how to complete this game. Yes, there's a lot to complete, so I'm warning you right now, there's no final level section of this review. There is only completion bonus and struggle. I'm going to share a lot of stuff with you guys right now. So again, this is your final warning. Be prepared to be spoiled. So, let's talk unlockables. First up, that Mario Paint game. Conquering this minigame will award you with the special amiibo costume, Super Builder Mario. This is a costume of the little title card Mario we've seen on the box art and everywhere else, but hey, it's a secret nonetheless. On the topic of costumes, you may have noticed throughout this video once or twice that there's a weird looking thin slender man version of Mario. That is known as the Weird Mushroom. You have a random chance of making any normal mushroom turn into the Weird Mushroom when you spawn it in Mario 1. However, there is a way to permanently unlock it and add it to your palette. Once you've unlocked all the Nintendo World Championship levels, beat them all to unlock it. And when you're building a level, shake the normal mushroom to make it the weird mushroom. And yeah, it is pretty damn weird. So there is a 30th anniversary Mario amiibo for this game. In fact, there's two, 8-bit retro and 8-bit modern Marios. Alex and I waited all night and morning to get these amiibo, literally hours before this video went live. Yes, I know. Yes, I'm insane. And I'm probably taking a nap right now. Good job, past you, future me, whatever you want to... Uh. Both of these amiibo give you access to the Mega Mushroom. It'll make Mario big, and he can crush all kinds of blocks and enemies that stand in his way. All the enemies now look like the Mario Brothers with hats and mustaches, and the TV screen gets warped like a CRT TV. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because, thanks to Pro Jared, we actually found out that you can make that CRT effect happen before you play any level. Just mash the X, B, Y, and A buttons at the same time as you mash the four directional buttons on the D-pad, and boom, it'll happen. Pretty neat, huh? Speaking of secrets, it's really awesome that you can unlock everything in this game without owning one amiibo. Yes, you heard me correctly, aside from the 8-bit 30th anniversary amiibo, you can unlock every costume in the game just by owning a copy of Super Mario Maker. Now, how does one do that? This part is what makes it very fun for a completionist, yet at the same time, it can be quite stressful. 
Remember the 100 Mario Man challenge? Every time you beat that mode, you will unlock one of the costumes. This is really awesome for the conscious consumer, and it encourages people to play the game organically. Ah uh ah, -uh. now I know a lot of you are thinking, I'll just spam easy mode and unlock them all that way. Well, I tried that. There's a cap, actually. Eventually, easy mode and normal mode will stop awarding you amiibo costumes, and you'll have to only do hard mode from there on. While this was very fun for me to do, especially since every single level is different every time, because the pool of media people was so small, I only ended up playing the same 30 to 50 levels over and over and over again. So it got stale kind of quickly. But I imagine that it won't be the same next time around for you guys for when you decide to complete the game. So to commemorate me completing Super Mario Maker, I made a level on the media servers that showcases every single thing I unlocked. In fact, if you want to watch the full video right here, check it out right now live on Super Beard Bros. Here's the link on screen. It has all 100 costumes in their awesome form. You guys may have seen this level leaked online on various websites getting coverage. Most of them not giving me credit. Don't be fooled, I did all the work first. And to top it all off, the final level version didn't have the two Mega Mushroom Amiibo. Now they do. The sad thing about all my level creations in Mario Maker is that they were on a specific media server, so all the levels you've seen here that I've created aren't playable right now. I'm gonna have to recomplete the game again! <laughs> Super Mario Maker is my anti-drug, my anti-stress, my anti-anxiety pills. Wait, the game has been nothing but a wonderful ride from start to finish. I'll say it, I hope there is DLC for the game, as it needs just a little bit more. More enemies, maybe more building assets. Don't get me wrong, it's got a lot in it, but I always found myself being just a little bit disappointed that I ran into a tiny bit of a wall when it came to my own creativity with a level. For instance, I used to be able to spin jump on saws in Mario World. I can't do that anymore. Other than the tiny nitpicks I had, Super Mario Maker may be one of the best games of our generation. This is going to lead to hours and hours of original games, levels, worlds. The possibilities are endless. I promise you, Super Mario Maker will not disappoint. Mario number one. <laughs> Super Mario Maker celebrates 30 years of gaming from one franchise that people claim they're tired of seeing. I cannot disagree anymore with this sentiment. Super Mario Maker is so, so wonderful. By the time you're done watching this video, you should be out the door in a car buying it or download it digitally from the eShop. Completionists will love the challenge of unlocking all the secrets, especially all the Amiibo costumes. And while it seems malicious to sink all this time into the game, look, it's either you're spending your money with Amiibo, or you're truly utilizing your skill in Celebration of Mario to unlock everything in the game. So, with that in mind, guys, I give this game my completionist rating of... Complete it. Complete it! Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of The Completionist. Today's episode is made possible because of the Pixel Empire. The Pixel Empire is a wonderful website where you can buy high res, high glossy artwork and posters from all different walks of nerdum. From comic books to films to video games, you can buy some really great artwork. The site is owned and operated by one person named Dylan West, and you can tell that he's incredibly passionate about what he does just by looking at his awesome work. Show him some love by buying his art today, and if you use the coupon code COMPLETIONIST, you'll get 50% off your entire order. And supporting Dylan means you're supporting us, so it's a win-win. And honestly, let me know what you end up getting. I myself got this Bioshock print right here. So, thanks again to Dylan and his crew over at the Pixel Empire. Let's show him some love, you guys. ThePixelEmpire.com. Don't forget coupon code COMPLETIONIST. That's all the time we've got for today, guys, so please, as always, let us know what you thought about today's episode somewhere on the internet. Don't forget, if you want to see everything in Super Mario Maker unlocked, including all the Amiibo costumes, links in the description below, or click on the boxes on screen right now. You can also head over to my Let's Play channel, Super Beard Bros. That's Super Beard Bros. Guys, isn't Super Mario Maker awesome? 
It really is. Now, you know what? If you excuse me, I'm in a level on my Twitch channel with everyone watching at home called Gerard's Treasure Trove, and I'd like to show you in its most evil form. It's a scary level. That's what it means. You're going to be terrified. Cut out all the parts, Mark, where my stomach is just chilling in front of the camera for three minutes. Probably wasn't gonna do anything, but now that you brought it up, you know. Thanks. 